The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is recommending a third shot for those who got a Pfizer or Moderna vaccination eight months after their second dose. But people who got the single dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine might be wondering, will you need a booster as well? On your sides, Don White has more about why this isn't expected to happen for a while and how effective the shot is with the more contagious Delta variant surging. Dr. Mohamed Reza says at this point there's just not enough data to determine if those who got the J&J &J vaccine will need a booster. She got the booster shot just due to being high risk and needing that little ump. The CDC said this month people with compromised immune systems, San Jose. such as Ava Allen's mom, should be the first to get a booster COVID-19 vaccine. She was super high risk and had breast cancer throughout COVID. It was like the actually a really good time to get breast cancer because doctors were so intact with her. The Johnson Johnson vaccine was approved in March of this year, whereas the mRNA vaccines were approved a lot earlier um, at the end of last year. That's why infectious disease specialist Dr. Mohamed Reza said it could be weeks or months until there's enough data to know if a booster will be needed for the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine. I understand the anxiety people that have received that vaccine are feeling um, because of this Delta variant. A large study of South African health workers shows the J&J &J vaccine was 71% protective against hospitalizations and 91 to 96% effective against death. I don't want to provide false reassurance and hope until we have the data, but I know masks work. So vaccinated, wearing that mask, that extra layer of protection will provide people protection. But I do think it's good for people with who are super high risk. I suggest that for them. Dr. Reza also says in addition to wearing a mask, he encourages people to get together in large outdoor spaces like here at San Marco Square. In San Marco, Don White, First Coast News, on your side. And Dr. Mohamed Reza says all three vaccines are still doing their job of reducing severe disease, hospitalizations, and death from COVID-19. The U.S. Surgeon General says boosters will likely be needed for the J&J &J vaccine and medical experts are waiting to get more data in the coming weeks.